Is the aura ring worth it? I mean, I, I spent over $400 for it, so I guess that is a valid question. And at least for me personally, it is worth it. For everyone, it won't be. And I think it's really important whenever you buy a fitness tracker, sleep tracker, anything that will provide you data in relation to your body and its metrics and give you feedback, it's on you of how you choose to utilize that or if you choose to do anything with it, quite frankly, uh, for the device itself to provide value to your life. At least that's how I feel. So let's just talk about my thoughts on the Aura Ring after owning it since December 1st. The Aura Ring itself comes in very simple packaging. As you see here, it comes in a white square box. You have the instructions on the inside to plug your charger in and charge the ring prior to using it. Again, the box will only contain a short instruction booklet, the charging base itself, the cord, and the ring. In terms of battery life, I only have to charge my ring, I believe, once every five to six days, which I think personally is pretty good seeing as you wear it all throughout the day every single day. Shipping was fairly fast. I really appreciated that. And for my actual ring size, I'm a six on my index finger, but I went with a seven just because your finger will swell throughout the day and at night while you're sleeping. So a seven is a comfortable fit, at least for me. Let's dive deeper into the Aura Ring. And I'm not like some techie or anything like that. So there are a ton of different reviews that go very much in depth for the Aura Ring that you can find all over on YouTube itself. But I'll just give you a quick rundown again of my thoughts on it. So I knew I wanted to better track more so the calories I was burning every single day so I could get an idea of what is like my totally, total daily uh, expenditure in terms of energy. And if you ever heard the term TDEE, that's exactly what that means. And that is a very useful number to determine uh, how much that you should eat to maintain your weight, to choose to uh, uh, drop body fat or to choose to gain weight, but hopefully that's muscle and not necessarily fat. So understanding the numbers is very important. It's You can look at fitness very much so like finances where you need to know the things coming in and the things going out. Otherwise, without that firm grasp on either of those two uh, numbers, you are really lost and you're just going to be fighting an uphill battle and it's already going to be an uphill battle a lot of times because just just in life in general right we are tempted by so many different things and i believe that life in moderation is the best way to approach it so quite personally for me i don't deprive myself or cut things out again people will assume that all of the time because i'm really fit and i don't post my fitness content or things like that on here but if you follow me on twitter at underscore talks with tj or if you follow me on instagram at talks with tj then yes you can see a lot of my workouts posted you'll see uh, me post peloton rides and guess what i don't even own a peloton bike but i am subscribed to the app and my fitness center has a has a bike so i can utilize that and still get really great workouts in same with the tread same with any of the strength workouts but i mainly use the peloton app for core workouts outside of uh, cardio workouts themselves so you can find a lot of my fitness content on there and i'm not a trainer so it's never meant to be like hey you should do this workout or you should do this it's it's not it's not meant to be fitness advice, quite honestly. It's just me sharing my life and things that are applicable to it, quite honestly. And, and fitness is, it's second nature, but I probably should just say it's first nature to me. But knowing that I have certain goals for myself, I need to understand what's going on with my body in order to hit those goals. And so often we ignore very important factors <laughs> within our lives that play a really big part. For example, with fitness, sleep. Your sleep is so important. Our bodies really, they, they do so much. It repairs itself. It goes through a number, I, I like to call it, it really just kind of goes through all these systems checks to, checks to make sure that everything is working in order. And the human body is such an intricate thing in itself. Like when you think about how all of our systems work together and fire and it, it'll repair itself and it'll fight things off. And I've always found that fascinating. Not fascinating enough to want to go and be a doctor and get in debt, spend all that time in school, but it's still really fascinating to me. And so I had certain goals for 2023. And I knew that first off for me to even have an idea of like, hey, I want to adjust maybe calorie intake and macros, which if I say macros, that's referring to carbs, proteins, and fats. You've likely heard that already on the internet. If I want to adjust those, then I need to first have an idea of like, what am I actually expending during the day? And then also like, what is my sleep like? So got the ordering in and funny enough, I wanted to wait 
to really have an understanding of how my behaviors changed or what habits maybe having this ring influence because I wasn't looking for it to be some end all be all thing like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have like so much better sleep once I have this ring. That's not what it is. So let's just start with number one and wanting the ring. It was based on aesthetics also because again, I've worn this, if you guys have paid attention, I've had this on in every single video outside of maybe one or two or something, maybe when it was charging on the charger that you guys saw, uh, I wear this all the time and it looks just like a regular ring. Now, of course, it's gonna be a little bit bulkier than like a regular ring may, may be uh, because it does have the sensors under there, but I can still wear this out and about casually and you have no idea that it actually is tracking everything in terms of my, <laughs> my blood pressure and heart rate. You don't know that, or I should say just heart rate and yeah, heart rate and all my other metrics. You don't know that though. It's not like wearing a Whoop or a Fitbit or an Apple Watch, which all of those just look really out of place when you are not in athleisure wear to me and I just didn't want that. So if that is something that you're fine with, then cool, awesome. I know people, you know, the Apple cult loves their Apple watches, but that's that wasn't something for me. So the aesthetic mattered a whole lot for me. So I went with the uh, regular, I went with the full round ring. And then in terms of what I wanted to get out of it for sleep, understanding my sleep and, you know, average how many hours I'm getting and then to be able to see the, the deep sleep, how things are affected, uh, that tell it tells you all of that. And one thing that I've noticed in the change in my behavior, because that was the real reason of getting this and being able to see the data, I have actually conditioned myself a little bit better. I'm nowhere near perfect, but I've conditioned myself to prioritize trying to hit that seven hours of sleep. So I've actually, my body will now go ahead and just fall asleep. I won't joke, like if I start to get myself uh, ready for bed or ready to just wind down, as the app likes to tell you, when I get ready to wind down at around 10 o'clock, my body is ready to fall asleep around 11. Now that sucks for me being a Warriors fan and I'm on you know, uh, East Coast and they're a West Coast team because that means I will fall asleep during a lot of games this season but I'm still able to get up and function like I need to do. And in clay, I trust to go ahead and hit 12 threes in a game, set the record for most games with 12 field goals made in terms of three pointers. So uh, I can still see the wins the very next day and rewatch a game if I need to, but it is better conditioning me to prioritize my sleep. And when that's done, I feel better. Like I prioritize my sleep when I'm filming this like the night before and I actually woke up 30 minutes ahead of schedule and I felt really rested. So I went ahead and got up and got to my workout sooner than I would have on a Saturday so I'm able to really hone in on my sleep and I think that's having a really great effect uh, in relation to many other things uh, for my fitness goals. So another thing, I wouldn't necessarily say this is great for tracking your fitness unless you're doing a lot of cardio. Uh, but if you're doing a lot of weightlifting, I don't wear this when I lift weights because I don't want to scratch it and dent it up and, and damage it. And you will, no matter what, you're going to do that if you have dumbbells and barbells in your hand. And I absolutely do, whether it's deadlifting or just using dumbbells or doing pull-ups, like, yeah, I'm going to uh, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna damage the ring. So I don't wear this when I lift weights. And again, if that is something that you want to be able to track, then you're probably going to need to get something where you put it on your wrist. That is just the case. Uh, finally in terms or so for that, sorry for that and me, uh, being able to know how many calories I burn, whether it's through the cardio or I can just estimate, uh, based on the actual workout itself, then that allows me to see, Hey, this is what I'm actually burning average across the week. And then that allows me to adjust my calories and that puts me on a better path towards my goals. So for me, it's absolutely worth it because I look at the data, I take it in and I adjust my actual lifestyle and my habits based on the data that I can see for myself. I have no problem with the subscription fee and the cost of it. I see people outraged about that all the time when it comes to the Oura Ring versus Whoop. However, they were like, oh, I only paid $30 for the actual whoop band. You pay though way more for the monthly subscription to actually have access to everything for that device. And when you actually look at the math over time, which I've talked about in a previous video when I ordered this, the math is not mathing for the whoop <laughs> or like the, for the whoop uh, band itself to be more cost effective than this ring. So yes, I paid a lot up front, but I only pay $6 a month for all of my data and I'm, I'm perfectly okay with that. So I just wanted to go ahead and get this video done. It's been 
like long overdue, but yes, personally, I find it very useful for myself. Everyone won't find it as useful, so you have to get what works for you, but it's helped me improve my sleeping uh, habits, lifestyle, and I'm better able to understand how much, how many calories I'm actually burning during the day because I do have a sedentary job, <laughs> I'm working from home. So I can use all of that, uh, put it into, again, uh, the actions I'm taking towards my goals, and it all works. So thank you for sticking around for this rather lengthy video that I did not think would be this long and it is and you guys know I'm trying to keep things shorter so I apologize for this being a lengthy video if you stuck around I really appreciate a like and as always actor age not your shoe size